I'm too old to buy Pokemon cards. Everyone knows the acronyms. M is for the manager who knows I'm a regular customer. I'm 23 and recently got back into Pokemon because of friends at college. I was at the comic book store today and decided to buy a few cards they had on display. None of the cards were too special they were just some of my favorite Pokemon. While I was telling the employee which cards I was going to buy I heard M talking to Egg. He was maybe 12. M. I hope you don't end up like him when you're older. Egg. Yeah I don't want to be a loser like that. I just ignored them and finished up getting the cards and was checking out when I was given the total price, about $30. M. You're really an adult who's going to waste money on worthless cards? Me. Yeah because they're some of my favorite from the series. Eck, you're a loser, if you have the same hobbies as kids. Me, and you and your mom are losers for harassing people you don't know. As I'm telling them this the manager speaks up, and gets blunt with the M and Eck. M, you have two options, leave and don't come back, or stop bothering customers, and buy whatever you came here for. They chose the first option and left, but not before calling me a failure at life. It's too bad, because I'm finishing college this semester and plan on teaching kids who are going to behave like that, and I'll know where they get it from. M gets throw out cafe, while screaming swears at us. Backstory I'm a 15 year old male who was out with a few of my friends skating and stuff. This happened while the temperature was 23 degrees quite hot for where we are, and at the scatter park skating. While we were in line for our slushy and M comes up to me and friend, Kyle, and this is what went down. M can I have some money, so I can buy a drink for my precious child. Me no sorry I only have enough for myself. M but Ike is thirsty and needs it. Me no sorry. M O M G you don't know how hard it is being a single working mother and works at minimum pay. My friend Kyle loves getting into arguments at school and with his parents. Kyle well you should get a better job and stop harassing kids. M-O-M-G you are so rude I will get you thrown out this cafe cause I know the worker. Worker what seems to be the problem here. Me M is harassing for our own money. Worker I'm going to have to ask you to leave ma'am. M you don't understand these kids I'm a single mother and need food for my kid. Worker leave now. M walks out dragging kid along while screaming swears at us. So yeah fun times. Woman yells at me to do my job, while I do my job. Thanks for the gold. Cast. M. Entitled mother me. Me. Backstory. I work at a hotel as a houseman I take out trash, clean bathrooms and other things. I'm an 18 year old male. Story. This was on Tuesday the 23th of July. I was doing my normal routine of cleaning the first floor, and I was cleaning the bathrooms I just got done with cleaning the men's bathroom and started to clean the woman's bathroom, and by policy I keep the bathroom doors open when cleaning, and I heard a woman check in, and ignore it, and when I was changing the trash and here's our conversation, M. Ah what are you doing in the woman's bathroom you pervert? I turn around me, hi welcome to the hotel I'll be out very shortly I was cleaning the bathroom room M. Get out and do your job. Stop messing around in a woman's bathroom and go back to the front desk. I don't wear a blue shirt for front desk. Me. I'm doing my job ma'am. I'm a houseman for this hotel. M. Get out of the woman's bathroom you pervert. Me. As you wish ma'am. Leaves bathroom and goes to the gym M. I'm going to talk to your manager and get you fired for messing around in the woman's bathroom. M. Threw a fit about appointment. Ends up being billed. For context I work at a health center and was involved in an encounter with an M. The mom has been taking her children to pediatrician A at a different clinic when her health insurance has her going to pediatrician B at the center I work at. Apparently mom made appointment at our clinic because their pediatrician didn't have availability. She wrote the time wrong and showed up 30 minutes late to the appointment. She blamed the employees in our department for giving her the wrong time and demanded that someone get in trouble for this. Even went as far as to complain to the patient advocate about it. Our calls are recorded and it was confirmed that the employee did give the correct time slash date. Because she threw such a fit over this and drew attention to herself the mom will now likely be billed for all of the time she took her kids to see pediatrician A because it counts as double dipping on insurance.